a CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, founder of a Boring Company and co-founder of OpenAI and Neuralink, Elon Musk seems to be everywhere all at once, pushing all kinds of futuristic technologies. He said he won't be happy until we've escaped Earth and colonized Mars. Between space rockets, electric cars, solar batteries and the billions he's made along the way, Musk is basically the inspiration for Marvel's 2008 Iron Man. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing for Musk. Hi everyone! Today you'll find out how Elon Musk went from getting bullied in school to becoming a small-time entrepreneur and eventually the CEO of two major companies that seem like they're straight off of science fiction. Stay with me till the end to find out what can we learn from him. But first, hit the like button and subscribe to be part of a self-made nation. The true story how he almost went broke along the way and became one of the most controversial figures in the world of business is much complex. No matter what your goals are in life, adopting the habits and mindset of Elon Musk will help you get there. Musk was born to a South American father and a Canadian mother. He displayed an early talent for the computers and entrepreneurship. At age 12, he created a video game called Blaster to a computer magazine for $500. In 1988, after obtaining a Canadian passport, Musk left South America because he was unwilling to support apartheid through compulsory military service and because he saw the greater economic opportunities available in the United States. After high school, Musk moved to Canada and attended Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. And in 1992, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, where he received bachelor's degrees in physics and economics in 1997. While studying at the university, Musk and a classmate rented out a 10-bedroom house and turned it into a nightclub. The move was one of his first entrepreneurial experiments. He enrolled in graduate school in physics and Stanford University in California, but he left after only two days because he felt that the internet had much more potential to change society than work in physics. In 1995, he founded Zip2, a company that provided maps and business directories to online newspapers. In this time, Musk literally lived in the office and showered at a local association. The hard work paid off when in 1999 Compaq bought Zip2 in a deal worth $341 million in cash and stock. After that, Musk founded an online financial services, X.com, which later became PayPal, which specialized in transferring money online. The online auction eBay bought PayPal in 2002 for $1.5 billion. Even before the PayPal sale, Musk was dreaming up his next move, including a wild plan to send mice or plants to Mars. In early 2002, Musk founded a company that would be known as Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, with $100 million of the money received from the PayPal sale. SpaceX's long-term goal is to make colonizing Mars affordable. In addition to being CEO of SpaceX, Musk was also chief designer in building the Falcon rockets, Dragon and Grasshopper. Musk has said that SpaceX won't file for an initial public offering until what Musk calls the Mars Colonial Transporter is flying regularly. Elon has also been keeping plenty busy here on Earth, particularly with Tesla Motors. An electric car company founded by entrepreneurs Martin Eberhardt and Mark Terpening. Musk took an active product role at Tesla and personally saved Tesla from bankruptcy. He invested $40 million in Tesla and loaned the company $30 million more. Not coincidentally, he was named the company CEO the same year. But between SpaceX, Tesla and SolarCity, Musk nearly went broke. He describes 2008 as the worst year of my life. Tesla kept losing money and SpaceX was having trouble launching its Falcon 1 rocket. Right around Christmas 2008, Musk got two pieces of good news. 
SpaceX had landed a $1.5 billion contract with NASA to deliver supplies into space, and Tesla finally found more outside investors. By 2009, Musk was living off personal loans just to survive. As if that wasn't enough, Musk came up with the idea for Solar City, a solar energy company. Musk gave his cousins Peter and Lyndon Wright the working capital to get Solar City off the ground. He can't stop coming up with new ideas, like the Hyperloop. A super high-speed train that travels in a vacuum tube, the Hyperloop could theoretically transport passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 30 minutes. In a similar vein, Musk started another company in 2016, The Boring Company, which has a mission to dig a network of tunnels under and around cities for high-speed, no-traffic driving. And in late 2015, Musk co-founded OpenAI, a non-profit dedicated to researching artificial intelligence and ensuring it doesn't destroy humanity. Musk founded one more company, this one in 2017, Neuralink which is trying to build devices that can be implemented inside the human brain. Most shocking, despite having a substantial real estate portfolio, Musk recently said that he will own no house and will sell almost all his physical possessions. Now, thanks to Tesla's stock surging in 2012, Musk is the richest person in the world with a net worth of $187 billion. Musk's wealth has surprised Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates and now Jeff Bezos. Here are three things we should learn from Elon Musk. Think outside the box. His projects shine for being original and unexpected. He is promoting exciting and original projects that sound like something straight out of science fiction. However, what his success shows is that it can be very important to try to think outside of the box and offer innovative products or services. How can you distinguish yourself from others? Don't try to be the same as others. Instead, find ways to think outside of a box. Dream big. Musk doesn't do small. He has projects to colonize Mars in 20 years. This shows that he is not afraid to think big. Consider what type of goals you set for yourself. Do you limit your dreams and ambitions? If you do, ask yourself why. Having a mindset that is focused on big goals can help you grow and develop your business without limiting yourself to small objectives. Take risks. Musk is not afraid to take risks. His projects are extravagant and unexpected, but they work. There are others that might not work as well, but this doesn't mean that he is going to play it safe. Business needs risks. While not all of them will pay off, without them, your enterprise will likely become stagnant and fall behind. You need to take some risks when you are working to improve your organization or start a new business, so integrate this into your mindset. Elon Musk does things in his own way. He is focused on what matters to him and he is not afraid to take risks, to innovate, to be creative, to make big plans. This means that when his projects succeed, everyone's attention is focused on them. This also makes his projects different and appealing. However, Musk is not just throwing extravagant ideas to see what happens. His projects are rooted in science and evidence. Thank you for watching! I hope you take Elon Musk as an example of perseverance and courage to take actions in whatever your dream is. Hit the like button and subscribe to be part of a self-made nation.